want to change color within an image, there are multiple ways to do that. One of the ways that we've learned so far is through the use of an adjustment layer. However, if we use a hue and saturation adjustment layer, it shifts all of the colors in the entire image. There are ways to refine the colors that we've learned uh, via the adjustment layer, but a better way to change the color is to first make a selection of all of the colored area that you would like to change and then use a technique that we've learned to change the color, whether that's a hue and saturation adjustment or you apply a new uh, solid color adjustment layer and then change the blending mode or something like that. But the first step is to make a selection of the color. To do that, you'll use the color range command. You can find it under the select menu and then color range. Once the color range dialog box opens, there are a couple of different ways to make your selections. You have a dropper tool which can be used either on the black, in this case, uh, example image, and when you click on it, anything that you select will turn to white and you can see what is being selected. Just like all of our other selection tools, if we hold shift, we can add to that selection. But I actually think a better way to do this is to click on your actual image because you can see where the color is. So if I want to select the pink and the flower, I can click on an area. I can also see that I haven't gotten all of the pink, so I can either hold down shift and keep clicking different shades of pink until I get all the colors that I want. Or, let's start over, I can select a base color and use the fuzziness slider to grab more and more and more or less of the colors that are adjacent to the hue that I've selected. So if I increase the fuzziness, I'll get more and more colors that would fall within those adjustments. Sometimes you want to grab all of the pink in the image if you were maybe changing this to be from pink to blue. But if you're just trying to make a subtle adjustment, maybe you're going to add some more reds or some more blues in certain parts of the yellow, this might be okay. Between increasing the fuzziness slider and holding shift to grab more and more of the image, you're going to make your selection and keep adding to the selection until you've grabbed all the colors that you want. And when you select OK, you will have what looks like a primitive selection, but it's actually more complex. It is selecting just the color ranges that you have, have made the adjustment for. Then you can change the color in any of the ways that we've learned so far this semester. So you can create a new adjustment layer and you can create a solid color. Because you have a selection made, uh, the color will only be applied to the selected area. When we use the solid color or the gradient or even the pattern adjustment layers, you then would have to adjust the layer blending mode so that you're adjusting the color within the image. Let's undo. You can also do a hue and saturation adjustment. And now this works better than just doing it to begin with because now when I slide the hue slider, it's only going to affect the areas that were selected. If you look at the layer mask here, there are white areas and there are black areas. The white areas are active. I'm going to be making changes in those areas and the black areas are masked out. Nothing will happen on that layer. So if I slide the slider to the right, you can see that I can change the color of the image. If I go to change the color of the image and I decide that I have not grabbed enough of the color, notice that the far left side is not changing and I have this haze over the background, undo, go back and remake your selection and this time go a little bit deeper. The color that you're trying to change to will affect whether or not you have to make the change, right? So we were seeing a lot of blue, so if we slide Right now, you can't tell that I didn't do a great job on the outer edge. So if I wanted to change this to purple, it's perfectly okay. If I was trying to change it to bright yellow or uh, bright cyan, uh, then maybe I need to go back and need to refine that selection.